Do you want to edit stunning wedding photos that will last a lifetime without spending hours in front of a computer? You need to watch this video. Okay, here's the photograph I will be retouching today. First step is I will go to develop and change the camera profile, in this case to portrait. Um, the white balance, I will leave it the way it is. I like it. Now we'll move to the next step. That is to apply body AI. We'll click on body AI. I will do the shape around there. And that's it. Just to slim this area a little bit. I will use face AI and I will do face light on 20 and I will do slim face around 20 as well. Now, for the eyes section, I will do eye enhancer, maybe something between 35 and 40. Uh, 40 is fine. Dark circle removals, I think there is okay, around 25. And I want to improve the eyebrows. Yes, I will do eyebrows improvement. Let me try 20. Okay, I think it's okay. Let me see the change. Yeah. All right, now done with the face AI, I will do some denoising just to get rid of some noise of this thing around this veil around her her face. Okay, so I will do just a touch, uh, five in there and five in here. Okay, very subtle. You see, it looks sharper. Okay, all right. Now it's time for the skin. Her, her skin looks perfect, but just a common practice for me. I will use Skin AI and the amount. Oh, they're crazy. Let's see what happens in here. See what Luminar Neo does. Wow. So applying the skin retouching without affecting the veil, you see? Really good. Shine removal, just a touch. And no, there's no skin defects I want to remove. That's okay for now. Looking good. Look from here to here. Look, looks brighter. I will go to the enhance part, which is in my favorites. Enhance, I will do accents around maybe 50. Let me see. Let me try 50. Yes, you see, it's selectively enhancing areas of the photograph. Okay, let's play with the color. Here in color, this step is not absolutely necessary, but since I want to add that, uh, you know, that warm look to this photograph, I will play with some colors, okay? And I will go to the color uh, tool, and in here, in the color tool, I will go to the hue part, in this area here, and I will add some reds, maybe the reds here, yes, let me see, a little bit more red. I will decrease the orange, maybe there, and I will increase the yellow. Okay, I think it's fine in there in the hue. With that tone, you see that the skin tone looks more natural for me. Okay, now I'm done with the color hue. Now I would go to color harmony. Here in the color harmony, um, it's a touch of brilliance. Let me see here. Yes, there, you see now. Yeah, I like it the way it is. Now it's time for the super contrast. Some in the highlights, some in the mid-tones, and none in the shadows. Let me see. I will decrease this one a little bit and increase the highlights contrast. There is fine. Okay. So, so far, this is what we have from here to here. Okay. Now, at this point, I think the photograph is okay but I still want to use some of the AI stuff of Luminar Neo so I will go to tone in here and I will play with the shadows first I will leave it in 50 the way it is right and I will do uh, the saturation about 8 and the hue here I want something around this area here let me go to the 180 just to add a touch of green and blue yes okay good so far and now in the highlights 
I will do some saturation on the yellows and the balance I want to balance more toward to the highlights there look that's just a touch of brilliance okay good I will now do some retouching with Dutch and burning uh, over her face and some areas of her eyes and enhance the highlights as I always do with Dutch and burn so I will switch to Dutch and burn I will reduce the amount to 50 light and strength is in, in line already and I will start as always with the T area here and here okay we reduce here the areas that are, that are highlighted okay let me check and go over the eyes good okay let me apply some highlights some uh, dodge to these areas that are highlighted all right just to add a little bit more of uh, sparkles <laughs> so to speak to this photograph okay here, here every place you see a highlight just apply a touch because it will create uh, an interesting mood maybe you will not see it at once but your eyes will detect it we'll apply also some of this to the flowers and you should take more time doing this guys okay take your time i'm i'm just uh, showing it uh, or doing it a little bit fast just for the tutorial but look mm -hmm. now i will go to darken strengthen nine and i will do dark areas hair this area here here and there you know and I will apply some this border here and enhance this over here just to enhance her features. And I will do the eyebrows as well. There. Okay, good. This is what we have done with the Dutch and Burning. Now I will close this Dutch and Burning and open another one. I will do that on her eyes. Amount 50, lighten, softness 100, strength 9. And then I will do only her eyes. And if you think it's too much, just, just go back and play with the amount. I think there is fine. Now, this is what we have so far. From here to this beautiful portrait, okay? The last thing I will do in here is to add uh, a vignette, which I have it in here. I will apply an amount of here. And I like this portrait. If you want to light her face a little bit more i will probably use another face ai do face lighting but i think it's okay there right so there's no need for, for another lighting okay so there you have it guys uh if you like the video please hit the like button and also if you like this type of content uh, consider subscribing to the channel and then guys i see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. God bless you all. Bye-bye.